Yo, what's up? It's your boy Cardinal Beats, and you're welcome to Behind Bars Chale. Today we have Cardinal coming through. Welcome to Africa. So, this is another request from one of my subscribers, as usual. I salute you guys, Charlie. Thanks for subscribing. Keep on interacting in the comment section. Let this channel blow. Because, Charlie, we have a lot to do, man. We have a lot. Let me not waste time. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so that you get notified anytime I release a video. You know how I do. Make I know, make I know waste your time. We'll just start. Because we need to talk. We have we, we have things to talk about. Raise the voices, keep on singing to the drums. The drums of Africa. Africa. Okay, so let me just say the first thing I am. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind when I hear this track, yeah. That Serafina, is it Serafina? That Serafina kind of feel. That, um, how do you put it? That South African kind of uh, music. That vibe. That's the vibe it gives. And you know that vibe is a little bit, it enlightens your spirit. You get it? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You're all Okay, so this card never welcoming people to Africa. So I'm guessing it's coming to talk about Africa. It's coming to talk about the situation in the in the country. Get it? So it's like we're taking a tour to Africa. That's what that's what it's about. Africa, Africa. To the place where I'm from. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Some more suffering, frustration, more agitation suffering. due to amputation. Let's education little. Uh, wait, l l let's take it back a little, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more suffering, frustration, agitation due to amputation. Let's. <laughs> you see, I, I I keep saying something about this guy. That inspirational feel, that that vibe of trying to inspire his people. I get it. From his background, it's like we should understand the fact that Sierra Leone has been through a lot, and it makes sense for people like Cardinero to be preaching that positivity all the time and respect, like respect, respect, respect. Dedication, little kids carrying ammunition. He says something that I want us to focus on. He says something that I want us to focus on. Um, I think my vo my volume is a little bit down sometimes. You have. Africa, yeah, Africa. yeah. Some more suffering, frustration, agitation due to amputation. Okay, needs that that rhyme. You get it. So much frustration, agitation leads to amputation. So you get it. Um, a lot of people here are frustrated for about the system. I don't want to bore you with the same african preach all the time but i think that positivity needs to enter into our heads you get it that frustration is leading people to um amputating when he says amputate amputation it can mean a lot of things that is amputating your dreams amputating your aspirations the things you want to achieve because of the system because of the way the system is a lot of people forgo their dreams and stop chasing that dream because you don't know even how to when you wake up in the morning the hassle is so hard that you don't even know how to even like fend for yourself talk more of uh, maybe investing into your dream it's quite difficult that's what he's talking about let's education little kids carrying ammunition stress arrived from colonial occupation okay less education little kids carrying ammunition i mean <laughs> okay told you one take if I buy, let's move on. Just laugh and let's move on. You get it. Little kids carrying ammunition. So it's like instead of educating the youth, we rather giving them arms to fight. That, that was that was the Africa before. You get it. But in our present state, although there are no wars, we're still fighting mental wars. You get it. So instead of we educating ourselves to be able to break through this shackle of mental slavery, we still back. Fighting wars that are not supposed to be fought. You get it. That's what he's trying to say. Political selfishness all around to stop the nations. Okay. 
okay so this one we're going to stop it from time to time because i need to talk, talk like talk about it before it moves on i always talk about this political thing like that greed of politicians where they are using us to get wealth for themselves so that's exactly what you just spoke about Sour gold shipped away by tough Caucasians. Where I'm from, just a mile away, you can talk to Satan. The man- <laughs> that's deep. That's deep. He said, "Okay, so the gold and other stuff, like we I said previously, are being shipped off because of the greed of our fellow um, leaders." But I said, "Where he, where he is from? Just a mile away, you can talk to Satan." So meaning that the situation is so bad that it's like it's hell. It's like we're living in the hell. Like it's bad. Mass population stuck in poverty, forsaken. The whole more than land shaken. Riches and sin for the taking. The food for the nation suggests we build a good federation. I bring the information about. Yeah, that one. I give you respect for it. It brings us information. Like <clears throat> these are things that. Sorry. These I think. These are things that I think we should touch on. But normally, because of. I don't know. Everybody has like we, every every artist have their own mind, so they don't normally preach this thing. But Cardinal makes it uh, like a must to mention these things to the people. So that's the reason why we're also here to talk about it. You get it? Where I'm from, my niggas is scared of confrontation. Africa, to this day we ain't went. The first world countries, my friend, we ain't in. Only place to see us in this new style on yeah. CNN. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So the first world countries, of course. Uh, there's no African country that's part of the first world countries. Like, <laughs> forget about it. But then again, everything is also from us. Like, the only place you see us <laughs> is on CNN when they're preaching bad about us all the time. But Africa is beautiful. But always they're showing the bad side of Africa. Meanwhile, in their countries, when they uh, riots and all those things, they try as much as possible to care it, like to care it such a way that we don't see the bad side of them. But when it comes to Africa, they sway away from um, preaching the good side, the beauty of Africa, showing the like the beautiful pictures of Africa. Then they rather show us the bad side, the wars, the poverty and all that. But it doesn't help in any way. But I kind of think that's also um, our fault because when we project positivity to the outside people, they're going to see us as also um, beautiful. You get it? So it, it all boils down to our mindset, what we're doing in Africa as a, as a whole, like ourselves, what we're doing in Africa. That's what's going to change the picture outside. So I'm crying in disgrace with kids who fly in the face. Though I try and embrace my question, is why is this place so full of misery from the days of slavery? I- yeah, I've been talking about Africa, 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 but let's focus on this lyrics. You get it. Let's focus on the flow. <clears throat> you should, you should, you should appreciate the flow because. To be able to tell this story, to be able to tell the story of Africa on this kind of beat, you get it. This beat, and I, like, it's, it, it's not an easy beat to spit on. So to be able to tell this story on this beat means that is an outstanding rapper. You get it. It's is is that good. You get it. So let's appreciate the side of the flow too, and the lyrics is trying like he's delivering. He's giving us information. In poetry which is not an easy thing to do which is not it's, it's not easy to it's easy to tell a story in like in rap you get it to be able to tell a story but to be able to combine certain words that will make sense for you to understand the picture he's trying to paint it's really dope come they fool us easily now my people is dying of AIDS just like easy e okay. my people are dying of AIDS just like easy e you know easy e easy e died of AIDS, you get it, uh, and that's one thing that Africa is facing right now, Afri- <laughs> trust me, like, wait, I, I don't remember the last time I checked the percentage of <laughs> people being infected by HIV every single day, or every single, like, per period, because uh, it gets frustrating, and it's something that they've been trying to fight, but for some reason, well, as we don't know where the, the disease is from, just like Corona, <laughs> we're just going to stay safe so i'll tell you today that to prevent hiv aids please use the rubber if you can't abstain yeah things i ain't even announced yet so many niggas from where i'm from you send back like a bounce check your crew is wasted back home for doing spaces they do you hate 
<laughs> I like that line. I like that punch. So many niggas get sent back like a bounce check. <laughs> They get bounced like a bounce check, like dope, man. That's dope flow. <laughs> Take all you possess and leave you naked. This just stories that explain by the place where I'm from. When the sun shines forever, it's called Africa, son. You're all welcome. Africa, Africa, Africa. To the place where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. Africa, Africa. That's inspirational, man. Kids younger seven is bossing, so take heavy percussions before you get sent to heaven with coffin. The pastor sinner, the blast your winner. Everybody's starving, no time for like breakfast or dinner. The <laughs> See, everybody's starving, no time for like there's no segmentation, like that segmentation of breakfast. This is your breakfast, this is your dinner. See, we ain't got time for that. <laughs> we already starving. You got to hustle before you eat. Then you have time to say that, okay, fine. Today I'm having a three course meal. <laughs> in most part, yeah, in in certain parts, yeah, you definitely the picture is okay. But you have to know that the the when you take in uh, into consideration the majority, majority of Africans are poor. You get it? Sorry to say, but that's those are facts. Majority of Africans are poor, so they more like hand to mouth so there's no like you can't even say like se segment it this is your big charlie you eating once a day what are you talking about features that they split you apart because you're of the shit you attack black magic man leave you laying flat the president's a slain evil elements remain there's no hiding embezzlement's is plain leave the residence in yeah <laughs> You see, when I'm, when I'm reacting to Cardinero's rap, yeah, sometimes I sway away from talking about the uh, punchlines and the uh, metaphors and all those things he uses sometimes. But the message is more powerful. When, you see, mu one thing about music is the fact that it's the message. You get it? When the message is so powerful, you tend to embrace the message done um focus on things like the literary devices you both call cardinero the king of rap in sierra leone and people are also saying that he's the king of rap in africa yeah everybody has their like the perception about certain things but i call him a preacher you get it i call him a preacher because he's not just a professor you get it Aside the, aside the professorship where he's teaching us history sometimes, I call him a preacher because he's preaching a gospel to us which is empowering Africa, trying to change the story of Africa. That's what he's trying to do. And I think we should rally behind him by throwing your support on this channel for us to like be able to tell people the story of Cardinero, to be able to tell people what this guy is about because this means a lot to i i react to it because it means a lot to me as a as an african and i i'm sure it should mean a lot to you as well you get it so rally behind cardinero let's push this agenda and let make africa work you but you, you get it from right next to Liberia, where the white next to superior Shoot more, fight less, man, inferior Similar to the movie shatters I'm from the place you joke about, laugh about And call us booty scratches But like Jim Jones, I'm a goofy smacker Black Neo Mafia, all about the green paper My crew be after Where I'm from, the roads is not paved The courts is not made Everybody's suffering, but yeah, devote to a trade I'm Yeah Where are we from? The roads are not made <laughs> They focus on they focus on different things rather than focus on the development of the of the country. You get it. The roads are not made. Where are we from, Charlie? The suffering is <sighs> cardinal. This is refreshing, man. This is refreshing. From the motherland, it's not a shame. The same place you get them stones, the light you change. Despite the fame, I like the game. And I'm so dope on the microphone like white cocaine. Yeah, that, that that's those are fact like that's fact. That, that's a fact. I'm, he said, I'm so dope on the microphone like white cocaine. Yeah, nigga, 
you know what that means, right? Dope is the same as cocaine. Like you do people people say like you dope cocaine, like you sniff cocaine. You get it. You get doped on cocaine. So um, cocaine can be referred to as dope. And he's trying to um, there's a simile. There's what we call a simile in lit- in, in literature. Um, I'm dope like the like over there makes it a simile. I'm dope like white cocaine. You get it. It makes it. These are like some English lessons right here because the professor is talking. Once the professor is talking, we should be able to interpret it so that you people can understand. You <laughs> making over my way. You claim we talk funny from Africa. Better than a lot of niggas. You like a bill on the mic. You suck money. Stop, sonny. Before we blast your frame, we ask no names. Just pull out the thing, thing and blast your names. What? Yeah, yeah you all welcome, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I represent to my bones, man. Word up. Three times most wanted. Carlos Nero, 2006. Shout out to all my peoples out there, man. All my peoples out there in Ghana. You know what I mean? We represent it. We represent it. The people out there in Ghana, we represent it full force. We behind you, man. South Africa, Africa. Kenya, Senegal, Guinea. You know, Africa, man, all around. Africa. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so that's it. I think which all these countries is mentioning is ju- it's not just like for fun, but I think when we come together to form one, like to come together as one, what well, the agenda we can push for people to get to know the better side of Africa is going to be great. You get it. So, I don't know where you're watching me from, but there's what there's like there's an agenda we want to push. That's the reason for this channel. Like I said, this channel is not for me; it's for you and I. So, if we're able to share this, for this to get go far, for us to get more people on board, then we can now start painting the right picture to the people outside. You get it. What I intend doing with this channel is not just to give you reactions and tell you about metaphors and punchlines and puns and all that i want us to push an agenda i want us to push an agenda through music by pushing our music out there by painting the right picture with our music that's the purpose of this channel you get it so keep sharing keep interacting with me in the comment section you know i always respond as much as i can i'll always respond you get it so keep reacting Let's make this work. It's Africa. Let's unite. So see you on the next one. And if they ask you, you know what to tell them. Be fresh boy. Fuck kids. <laughs> we out.